my hips, my seat bones, my knees and ankles, and my reins. I'm very even on both sides of his spine so that I can, you know, not be leaning into one stirrup or, you know, leaning too far forward or, you know, lost in the post. I have to be super balanced on top of him as well. And then it's really important that, um, again, this idea that he doesn't like, he doesn't do this with his neck, right? He doesn't overbend too much to the inside. Even though sometimes, you know, we do use a little bit, uh, you know, lateral flexion uh, to get a little bit more longitudinal flexion. That's 100%, you know, we can go to a little bit more bend um, to get a little bit more access to the back. But, you know, when we get to this place of super just, I don't want to say just a neutral warm-up, right? But just a super normal warm-up, right? Like, um, in Gideon's, good boy. I'm just going to give him a little walk break while I explain this, right? Like, in Gideon's, we've seen pummel, a zookerfee. We've seen a warm-up with the young horse. And we have seen uh, Gideon's warm-up, regular straightforward textbook warm-up. We've seen Fiji's warm-up where I don't stretch him. Um, and now we have Denali's warm-up where Denali can move like a total freak. Like he's an amazing mover, right? But I don't need to show that the first 15 minutes I'm on the horse. What's important for Denali, he tends to be a little bit running and very strong and very forward and fairly stiff <laughs> and so you know in order to you know kind of save quote unquote save Denali's legs I need to make sure he treads on the ground with the lightest uh, joints as possible and so for him to go free forward flowing actually has a lot more to do with him like not running and being stiff and so I really again making sure that my my seat can half halt him like inside my riding pants. We talked a lot about that in the, the posting trot half halts, uh, which is a video with Gideon. And so I really wanna make sure that he's not just like taking me, you know, running. So I really stay grounded through my, my weight. And again, this idea that I'm even through both reins, still fairly soft, right? But and I kind of just hold steady until I start to feel him go down. And then when he starts to like really want to take that neck down, I have to let the reins, and I have to let him chew the reins out of my hand. And then sometimes my reins then get too long and he comes above the bit.